Gloves Up, Episode 5. I am your host, Jacob Koopman, the Jewish jawline, the soundboard god. And I'd already recorded a mock Episode 5 earlier today about how I thought the KSI versus Swarms fight could have been better marketed, better handled. I felt like the community kind of just threw that fight to the buzzards in terms of market potential. And so... Throughout that entire video, I went down and I, I figured out how that they could have marketed that fight better because I felt like there were a lot of angles that we missed out on. And it seems like 30 minutes, not even 30 minutes, probably 15 minutes after I hit stop on the recording, KSI comes out with a video and says, hey, I'm going to be boxing not only Swarms, but a professional boxer that very same night, which is absolutely ludicrous to me. I'm going to get into why I feel like this is an absolutely horrible idea, not only just speaking about KSI's physical health on the night of, because if you're fighting a pro boxer and then a guy that doesn't know how to box, those two present their own problems individually, but also just from a marketing standpoint, how it's just a, a nightmare walking if you're KSI and you're trying to build up towards a fight with Jake Paul. So I, I'm going to start out. I thought the fight with Swarms was enough. I thought if you marketed it the right way, you talk about the unknown factor of this fight. You know, the fact that we don't know what KSI is going to look like with his updated skill set and the fact that we haven't seen Swarms box at all. Right. The only thing we have to go off of is that he was, I think, featured on a KSI song. So I thought that that angle, if you wanted to play it through like that type of lens where you have a guy like Swarms coming in, he's this unknown dude. We don't know if KSI is going to be bringing his best and he comes in, maybe he shocks the world. No, that was one angle that I thought could do well and always has done well in the world of combat sports. I thought there was also this fantastic angle that I had thought of. I don't think a lot of people are talking about the fact that KSI has kind of backed himself into a corner or at least had backed himself into a corner, probably more so now, but specifically with the Swarms fight, backed himself into a corner in terms that he had to look incredible versus Swarms to be able to have that be a viable bargaining chip in talking about his fight negotiations with Jake Paul. And you pair that with the fact that KSI has talked so much shit about how he's way better than Alex Wasabi, that this is just a tune-up fight. Unknowingly, or perhaps knowingly, KSI has kind of boxed himself in. And so I thought that that was a fantastic angle. Swarms has much less to lose, right? And KSI is kind of shackled. Shackled not only by the marketing that he's done for this fight or the general consensus coming in, but also bound to the rules of boxing. When you have a guy that understands fighting and, and another guy that doesn't know at all what he's doing, sometimes the guy that knows what he's doing will be in more danger at a certain level. And I'm not saying KSI is at this level yet, but if you're talking about experiences that both men have had KSI has had much more experience it will be ingrained in KSI's head how to step in to get more leverage right how to get the outside foot planted how to throw shots you know keep your head off the center line for swarms he doesn't have to have these moves ingrained in his head he doesn't have to follow the anatomical rules of boxing if that makes any sense right he's not concerned with bringing his, his, you know, hand back up to his face to defend after a jab or a hook, right? KSI has had so much practice doing these repetitions, all right? And, and while that's great against other guys that know how to box, when you go up against a guy in swarms that will, not to make a joke, probably swarm him, that's definitely going to give KSI a hard time. No doubt in my mind about it. So earlier, I just tried to remarket that fight in that lens. I thought it was an interesting way of looking at it. And then KSI drops the nuke. Yes, you get KSI versus Swarms in the Bulgarian boxer, pro boxer for free. <laughs> You're living. All right, so let me talk about the pro boxer that I'm fighting. His name is Ivan Nikolov. And uh, yeah, he can, he, he can bang. And all the, and all the, and all the. What the fuck am I doing, bro? <laughs> so KSI will not only be fighting Swarms the night of the 27th, KSI will be fighting 43-year-old Bulgarian pro boxer Ivan Nikolov. That is insane. That's crazy. Isn't that nuts? Here's the thing. Not many combat sports have done this type of thing. There was the old UFC, I'm talking about the way, way, way back type of UFC tournaments. I know some tournaments in Japan happened with MMA where guys would fight twice in one night. So it is doable, but the thing you have to factor in is that there's going to be damage built up from each fight. I don't have to tell you that, right? That's going to be extremely dangerous for a guy in KSI that 
for as much experience as he has over swarms, is relatively green himself. This is not a guy who necessarily knows how to take shots with the best efficiency. This is not a guy who knows how to, how to necessarily control the pacing of the fight and how much cardio he gives. There is real, real danger here that KSI could get seriously injured. Before I say anything else, I do also just want to note that I think it's very, very cool what KSI is trying to do, right? He's trying to trailblaze Misfits Boxing. This would have been probably an underrated event. Uh, I feel like a stinker of a start for Misfits Boxing, regardless of the other talent on the card. I, I, I just don't think that this would have been good on a track record for this new wing of DAZN Boxing. So I understand what KSI is trying to do. He himself said in the video, he's trying to save the event. However, I just, I don't think that this guy, Ivan Nikolov, he's three and 16. I, I just don't think that that's a big enough of a pull to warrant stacking him on top of swarms. I'd rather have a 43 year old Bulgarian pro boxer on, what is it now, 11 days notice than a guy in swarms on two weeks notice, if that makes any sense. I don't understand why KSI had to do both. Again, he probably just felt like he had to up the circus value of, of the event in itself and you know kind of lean into this YouTube boxing celebrity type of deal, you know, where most of the politics of mainstream boxing kind of get replaced for more of this gladiatorial type of, of feeling. I, I don't think this does much in KSI's campaign to get to Jake. Because like KSI said in the video, it took Jake three years to finally get close to fighting a pro boxer, and KSI did it in three fights. However, with Jake, there is this coat of professionalism to whatever he does. He's with Showtime Boxing. He's graduated away from guys like Nate Robinson, fighting YouTubers. The only reason a guy like Jake would fight KSI is simply because of the name value. I don't think Jake would want to take a step backwards and fight YouTubers. So with what KSI is doing now, he's not only kind of tossing all of his bargaining chips out on the table and saying, hey, listen, I'm going to convincingly beat both these guys and that will be the parameter for our negotiations moving forward. He's also saying, hey, listen, I'm much more involved with the gladiatorial type of boxing that 14 year old kids wanna see instead of trying to transition into the sport and doing what more seasoned fans wanna see like I believe Jake Paul is doing. And I think overall, like I said at the beginning of the video, KSI has not handled the marketing for this well at all, right? It's not a professional buildup. This event doesn't seem professional. They have Keemstar working commentary. Jake Paul did that years ago, right? So I'd say KSI just needs to apply this new coat of professional paint. And August 27th's event, while it will be entertaining, I don't think really warrants a fight with Jake Paul, even if KSI wins both bouts. I think it's an absolutely horrific idea, but let me know what you guys think down in the comments. This has been Gloves Up Episode 5, your host, the Jewish jawline, the soundboard god. I am Coop, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace. Fuck it.